these videos are getting long, aren't they? Are you bored not seeing me? Um, I knew someone years ago. Um, so basically, when they left school, they didn't. I think they failed the GCSEs. I don't think they did very well. And they basically got a job where the dad worked. And um, they basically did the same job as the dad because the dad had a job there. And then the dad moved where they were working. So they followed their dad to work where the dad was working. And then I think the dad retired. Or maybe retired because of health reasons. Because I don't think they were... No, they weren't even that retirement age. And they carried on working there because their dad worked there and... Um, they um, bought a house on the same street that the friend lived on and when like one of the friends bought something or were doing something they did it and they basically copied everything that they did like when they were at school um, they started to support um, Liverpool Football Club because their friend supported Liverpool so even though you know, most people would either support the local team if there was a local team. Like our local team is Blackburn Rovers. So by default, most people would support Blackburn Rovers. Um, if you live in Manchester, you've basically got a choice between City and United. I support City. <laughs> Always have done. Um, and it's like... Like, basically, this person copied everything every, everyone did. Like, they copied me. To the point it would stress me out and I'd be like, you can't keep copying me. You've got to think of your own things. You've got you, your own person. You've got to do your own thing. And they're like, oh, but I want to do what you're doing. I'm like, but you don't really. You just want to do it because I'm doing it. You should do the things that you want to do. But because of the lack of intelligence, I guess, they weren't very intelligent. I'm not saying in a negative way because some people are super intelligent and super smart. And some people average intelligence or some people are below that and they were below average intelligence and they just copied everyone else instead of doing what they wanted to do or thinking of things they would think they wanted to do things because other people were doing them and they were just constantly copying things and I believe if the dad hadn't retired and they changed where they worked they would have changed where they work and they worked at this place for a long time um and they never progressed, like they never became supervisor or manager or anything like that. Whereas I, if I'd gone in at the bottom of what job they did, which I couldn't imagine that me doing that job, but if I did, I would want to be supervisor after a certain amount of time and I would want to go up to a certain point. But they never did and they were on minimum wage and like even after working there for like years and years and years, they were still on the lowest wage possible. And, and they bought this house, which was overpriced for what it was. I mean, at the time, I, I lived in a, a similar house. And my house was a lot nicer, but it wasn't as expensive as what they paid for theirs. And even, like, when their mum and auntie came to my house, they said my house was much nicer than their house. And they had this really childish tantrum and meltdown over it. But it was true. And they basically got this mortgage that they couldn't afford to pay. And... The dad basically paid the deposit of the mortgage um, because all they had was five grand and I think the deposit was like 16 or something, 16 grand I think it was and they had five so they owed the dad 11 grand and they, they had to pay a certain amount off um, to the dad and pay the mortgage which they couldn't afford the mortgage. Um, because at the time when I knew them, their take home wage after working, I think they did something like 49 hours a week or something. Or they, were, they could have as much overtime as they wanted and I know they did a lot of overtime. But their take home pay without overtime was 999 a month. Because it was on minimum and their mortgage on the house was something like 650 a month. Which left them under three hundred and fifty pound for the month to pay the gas, electric, water, TV license. They had Sky in, um, they had broadband, um, car insurance, running the car, eating. You can't do that on three hundred and fifty pound a month. Plus, they were having to pay back the dad, 
I think it was like something like three hundred pound a month towards the deposit that the dad had paid, and they basically they couldn't afford it, so then they were having to work overtime all the time, even without having to pay the deposit back to the dad. They were still having to do a certain amount of extra hour overtime. Um, all because they were working at minimum wage, even though they'd been there for years. Um, and like they could have been supervisor and they could have been on extra money, but they just they couldn't even cope with the job they were doing. To be honest, they were working in a factory setting, producing something. I'm not going to say what they produced, and the thing they produced had like um. A quality scale, do you know, like most things when they produce things, there's a quality scale. <coughs> I hope I'm not getting a cold. But basically, say the scale was 0 to 10, it had to be like a 6 to pass the quality level. But most people were, um, when they were making this item, um, were getting 9s each time. No one was really dropping below 9. And this person was constantly at a six, which is the lowest it can pass at, or below. And if they were, like, doing a shift... Oh, God, this is a long explanation about people. But if they were doing a shift and, like, they had to do a certain amount of what it was, if they messed up, which they often did, they often got distracted on the phone and ended up with loads of fives... They'd end up having to then rush through the rest to get the sixes out because they'd have to finish at a certain time unless they'd agreed to overtime in advance. So they constantly struggled to get to the level where it was a pass, basically. And what they were doing wasn't rocket science. It was like the most basic thing that most people could do with half a brain cell. But they couldn't cope with it. But because the dad had gone to work there, they'd gone to work there. Um, and they couldn't afford the mortgage. And eventually... After they paid maybe about three grand back, four grand back to the dad, they were like, you don't need to pay any more. So, A, I think basically they shouldn't have let them get the mortgage because it was clear they couldn't afford it because their take-home wage was 999 a month. The mortgage was 650 or something like that, which left them less than 350 to live on, which... You know, and then they've got Sky TV and broadband and other things. Like, they had a gym membership, but they never went. Like, if you can't afford the gym or you, you've got so little money to live on because your mortgage is just ridiculous. Like, I don't know how they got the mortgage. I think the dad actually guaranteed it or something. Um, and it was a long mortgage as well. I can't remember. It was a longer mortgage than normal. But you don't push yourself to limits like that just because you want that house on that street that your friend lives on. It was it was like a super long street as well. It was such a long street. It was difficult to park on. Um, yeah, it was definitely overpriced. I think they paid like 30 grand more than the house I was living in, but my house was bigger. Mine was at N Terrace next to the woods. Mine had a lot more land with it that I lived in, not this one. Um, and they just got ripped off on the house and they had to have it. And I'm surprised the mortgage went through, but obviously if the dad's guaranteeing it, then I guess it would go through. But the dad paying off the, the rest of it, like saying, oh, you don't need to pay the deposit back, that's not teaching them a lesson because if they ever end up in this position again... I mean, the dad probably won't be around again to do the deposit on another house. But they're basically spending outside of their means. Like, if you've got a grand takeover on wage every month, and £650 of that is going on your um, mortgage, oh, that was about council tax as well. So they had another hundred and something pound a month on council tax. You, you wouldn't put yourself in that position, do you know what I mean? That is just a stupid position to put yourself in, because say you council tax is all, only 100, which I don't think anywhere is 100. Like, I think they're all above 100. I think ours here is like 160 or something um, a month. So 
you know, it's like 800 pounds of their wage and then they're getting another 200 and they've got well, gas, electric, water to pay. They've got food to pay. They've got everything else to pay. You shouldn't stretch yourself like that. If you want that house, you need to make one or two things happen or both. You either need to save up a really much bigger deposit or you need to get a job where you're earning more money without doing the overtime with the option of overtime if you want to do overtime. So basically they should have worked themselves up either to be supervisor for a bit of extra wage or they should have gone somewhere where they were on minimum wage. I mean minimum wage at their age is like, you know. But anyway, as it said, like in this book, people grow at different rates and sometimes people drag them down and there were no one dragging this person down. They just didn't have the intelligence to do certain things, but really the dad, the parents shouldn't, well, the parents babied them, to be honest. They had a very strange relationship. I've never known anything so strange in my life. Um, they're not going to be there forever. If this person does this again, they could potentially lose the house because what's if they get sick? What's if they're long-term sick? What's if they lose the job? They're not really planning ahead like that. They never had any savings, nothing. And they did used to work overtime. They used to do... Some days they did overtime every day of the week. Some weeks they would just do two lots of overtime. But it's dangerous to put yourself into a position where you can't... Like, I don't know how they even got that mortgage. I can't understand how someone who gave them the mortgage... Hopefully mortgage providers don't do that anymore but it's just that just reminded me of it i don't know why i stopped at that chapter did i think it was a long chapter sometimes i stop reading books when it gets to what i consider to be a long chapter because they're all really short things in here so why did i stop reading it well that's a longer one i don't understand why i stopped reading this book but yeah, the book that I'm reading, see yet again, I've got to look what it's called, is this one. And I'm finding it hard, but I'm over halfway, so I'm going to stick to it. Basically, I'm trying to show you these earrings. By the way, there's nothing on screen, that's why you can't see it. I was just trying to... So I've got these earrings, so the, the hoops, and then they've got... A, I think it's called polymer clay, which has been painted, so they're not fully identical which I like and then they've got the silver hoops on like these move um, and then I basically got three pairs because they did um, it's a small business by the way they did a f mystery bundle where you got three different pairs I can't even remember what they were I know well, well I've got one pair um, that I can see but I don't know where the other pair are and I can't remember what design they were Oh, I think they were heart, heart shaped studs that were blue, red and white stripe, I think. So I wore these ones. Um, super cute. Because I always wear the same earrings all the time. Then I bought this pair. This was a limited edition colorway. And they um, only, I think they only sold 20 of them because they were doing them for a charity. I think they were only 10 or 12 pounds with postage. Um, they're kind of the same sort of thing. These back discs are like a bronzy gold colour. Um, they're bigger than them ones. And they've got like a teardrop bronze coloured dangly thing. These are my favourite ones out of what they're doing. Do you know the hoop ones? Like not. Well, these are my favourite ones out of, out of all the pairs that I own. These are my favourites so far. Um, I've had a pair delivered today. I've not opened them yet. They're these style again, the hoops. And they're from the Autumn Collection. But I really, really like them. They're not expensive. Like, I think they go up to like £20 is the most expensive. But a lot of these hoop ones that I'm showing you, these sort of ones, are like £10 or £12. I do think these were only 10 They might have been 12 because they were charity ones. Um, 
but I really like the colour. I like them because they're autumnal, but I kept... When when they went online, I got them, like, within the first hour that they went on because they were limited. And they've got... They sell out really quickly. Um, I kept thinking, will the colours go with my blonde hair? I didn't... Like, these would look nice with, like, red hair or brunette hair, but I kept thinking, is it going to go with blonde I have worn these ones. They are gorgeous. Yesterday I just had a pair of normal silver medium hoops in bigger than these ones. But yeah, these are my favourite style out of the ones that they do. And they're made by two best friends in Cornwall. Better than Devon. So, I don't know what you can see. But these are super gorgeous. I really like them. The handmade, the polymer clay... And they're gorgeous, I, I really like them. They're different. When I wore these ones, I mean, I don't know what I'm showing you because I can't see the screen. I had, like, um, a black and grey outfit on and I went to put earrings on. And these were the only ones that I felt would go because they're blue and silver and blue goes with grey and black. So... These are my favourite style, anyway. I don't know where the, um... I know I've got some heart ones, but I don't know where I've put them. They're very nautical. Um, I wonder where I've put them. I'm not, I've not worn them, so they could be bloody anywhere. Hopefully they're still on the backing card, the old one card because they're not in this drawer that I can see and they would be uh, in my eyeline if I could if they were in here so god knows where I've bloody put them also have these bad boys I got a mystery pack this was the third pair now I would never have picked these in a billion years because they're a bit I'm not going to say they're not me because what is me, you know what I mean, like, but this was like the third pair, and basically it was like £15 and you'd get £30 plus worth of items, so you'd get three items and the total value would be more than 30 now I don't know how much these were, um, I know these hoops tend to be 10 to £12, pounds. the stud earrings tend to be around eight pound um so i'm guessing these were more than 10 they probably are because there's a lot more components to them there's the um disc at the top then there's the semicircle then there's these brassy things i do like them but i would never have picked them up do you know what i mean like i like them but there's no way i would have picked them from the, like if i was in a shop but if I've got like an old black outfit on, these would look good. I've not even tried them on. They're the only pair that I... Oh, they're like proper studs and everything. Don't know why I'm putting them on. I want to know where I've put those white and red striped heart shapes. I'm not into massive, do you know, studs, do you know, where they're quite big. I'm not into big ones. And they are, are quite big hearts. They're not, like, huge. Like, I've seen people with bigger ones. It's not too full on, but it's not even... Listen, do that. That is me rattling. just found them they were on the floor they must have fallen out so these are the the um hearts um they're big for me um and one of them looks like they've got a finger nail print in them and i think that's why i've not worn them i mean it might not be a fingerprint it could be from the earrings that were in the box with them. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. 
there's like a fingerprint mark there did you see the dent there it's full fingerprint size because when i put my finger in oh no it actually looks like stuff is caught it because it's dragged all the way down it um and i like how they're not totally you know uniformed lines they're not the same i like that about them let me feel them but do you know if you like had an old black outfit on even like a casual black outfit well, I don't know if they're casual. Do you know if you had like black jeans on and black boots with a heel or without a heel and a black long sleeve t shirt or a black jumper or something? These would make your outfit like look a little bit nicer. And if you had your hair down, you wouldn't see them much. So they're different. I will wear them. Don't get me wrong, I will wear them. I'm going to put my little hats in. Do you know what? I've been filming for so long. I don't know how much of this I'm going to keep. I feel sorry for you because for the most part you can't see me or anything. But. Oh, that's nice. Do you know when you put something in your ear and it just feels nice? I think because it's cold it feels nice against my skin. So yeah. These are what I've bought as well. And as I said, I do have a another pair that arrived today i've not opened them as i said i'm gonna go and open them now i got them from the autumnal collection there was a couple of pairs that i really loved and they've sold out see these were on the big side for me i'm not a massive fan of earrings stud earrings that are big i mean i've seen people wear bigger ones as i said i need to stop filming when i've drank coffee for some reason, the coffee is making me hyper. Last night when I filmed tons, I'd had coffee. Today, I had coffee, bouncing off the bloody ceilings. What is it with coffee? Coffee, 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 coffee. Do you want a cup of coffee? I don't know what accent that was meant to be. So yeah, I need to stop with the... Um, Drinking coffee then, because <laughs> I'm filming way too much. Just putting some chicken in the oven. Um, yeah. And yet again, I'm filming because I'm that coffee. I tell you what, this is what I've been having. No, it's on offer for £2 at the moment, it's normally free, it's brand new out. I wouldn't pay £3 for it, you only get five sachets. This is actually finished because I had two yesterday, one today. It actually costs the same as it costs to buy ten of these, but this, for an instant coffee, it's amazing. I don't like instant coffee, but this is so, so good. Obviously, it's not as good as an espresso, but it's quite good. Um... I put like half a sugar in. I think it's got sugar in it. Semi skip milk powder, sugar, coffee, instant coffee, finely ground roasted coffee, glucose syrup, and natural flavouring. So it's not full of um, sugar and it's 89 calories. So I could probably drink it without the sugar. I think I just put it in for because it's habit. Really good. They do other ones, but I I like a caramel latte. So yeah, that's the second one I've had. And as I said, then on offer for two, I would never pay three pound for them because you only get five, whereas you can get ten espresso capsules for this a similar price. Just spraying a bit of that on the foil. Just give it a bit of flavour. So yeah, I need to not film when I've had coffee because for some reason. It makes me very hyper and talk a lot, which isn't great. Um, chicken. <laughs> I need to put some more rice in my drink. What's the date today? I don't know why I'm asking you. Because I might cook both of the chickens. And then let my dad have the other one on the sandwich tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going to cook them both. And then he can have a sandwich for his lunch. 
because we've got tomorrow's date on and they're already starting to turn so they're definitely both are going to be cooked I get the corn fed chicken breast fillets they're from Aldi um, I only got enough foil out for one I'm going to have to try and squeeze them both on yeah this was £7 before the uh, the price by weight, you know, like no normal chicken, they've normally got like a, a price, and it's the price of the pack, no matter what, even if the weight is slightly more. But these, because they're corn fed, um, they've been between six and nearly eight pounds a pack. Um, these are quite big chicken breasts. I have gone off chicken recently. I, as I said, I didn't have any chicken last week. Um, need to move that a sec so I can get the salt. This is the salt I use, Cornish sea salt. This is my last tub. Quite early on into lockdown, I got three pots of this on Amazon. So it's lasted a long time. I've had it since maybe April, maybe the start of April at the latest. It probably was March, but let's just say April. And I opened a pot. I don't know if I've said this in the vlog. Opened a pot. And two days after I opened it, or three days, I dropped the entire pot on the floor. It was where it is now. I knocked it. Probably, I was probably messing around. Um, I've just scattered mixed herbs over it. Probably need another one of these soon. Um, and yeah, basically, it fell on the floor. And I was like, oh, good job. It's, I bought three of them. So... That was the second one, so that one's been open since April and I finished it a few days ago and then I opened the one that I just showed you um, two, three days ago, maybe two. So they do last a long time and my dad uses it and I use it, so it's a really good salt. So yeah, I've done both chicken. I've got some carrot and sweet mash, I've got half of that left. And I'm going to either have it with cabbage, because there's two in the bloody fridge, um, or broccoli, or probably broccoli and cabbage, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I basically came on to say I can't keep filming when I've had coffee, because for some reason I have coffee and I talk and talk and talk and film lots of videos. I mean, you might like the fact I've t done tons of videos because it just means you're going to get more footage. I'm not going to do super long videos, by the way. As I said, I have filmed clips when all that crap was going on and I might have four or five of them. And some of them might only be 10 minutes long. I know there was one over an hour long, but I'm going to put up, like, if it's 10 minutes, that'll go up. If there's one that's 50 minutes, that'll go up as one. These are all going to be spread out because I've filmed a lot the last two days. These are what I'm going to probably edit last um, I'm going to get the other bits up first just so I know what I've got even though these are going to go up technically first oh, I might edit these oh I might edit the ones because then I'll know what's actually in them anyway need to go I've filmed too much again I've probably been doing stuff for two hours even though I've got other stuff to, to do <laughs> anyway bye